Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about, I guess like, signs that he, you know, he ain't all that into you, girl. He just not. He not. Or a guy. You know, this can go for a girl or a guy. Anybody. So, yeah, if you want to know the signs that somebody is just not into you, then keep watching. <laughs> would be like an avoidance of eye contact because um when i you know am not interested in someone who i clearly know is trying to get at me try not to look at them in the eyes like because i don't want to give them the wrong impression i don't want to accidentally lock eyes with them and then have the wrong idea okay i'm just not trying to look at your face at all if i ain't into you okay okay number two is i will try my best not to get any physical touch with you if I if I'm not into you. For instance, if I have a friend who I know is kind of like low-key crushing on me, and you know, when you like someone, you kind of find any excuse to touch that person, like not even like sexually or anything. It could just be like, oh ha 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 ha, touch them on the shoulder. If they don't like you and they know like you're being a little too touchy, I'm can be close with my friends and hug them and like hold their hands sometimes or like lock arms and that's like a friendly touch but you know the difference when someone's trying to touch you because they like you and if you don't like them back you try to find any excuse to avoid that you're just like yeah i'm just gonna like keep my distance over here <laughs> sometimes i can freeze up if i get nervous and someone's touching me and like i don't know what to do and this is a problem because i should really stick up for myself and just be like we ain't like that you like no but sometimes i'll tense up like one time i was in a car with a friend and it it was late and I got sleepy so I was trying to fall asleep and then I just feel his hand on my leg and I like woke up well I was already late but I like opened my eyes and was like oh my god he's touching me I don't know what to do another sign that he doesn't like you and this kind of goes hand in hand with the first two body language you know what i mean and this is said in like every freaking video about signs that he likes you or doesn't like you but seriously look at the freaking body language are they trying to touch you back are they trying to get really close to you are they trying to get really far from you are they facing their legs and their feet towards you or are they facing away are they trying to make eye contact with you or not Come on, people. It's not that hard. But honestly, it kind of is because like I'm very stupid when it comes to that stuff. I don't know. Sometimes I can't tell when people like me or when they don't like me. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. Fourth sign is that like he'll straight up tell you or she will tell you that she's not looking for anything serious. She doesn't want a relationship. Don't try to change their mind. Okay? Listen to what they're saying. I've dealt with this too many a time say a couple months go by you start talking and you know he starts liking you and everything if he never asks you out or tells you that he like wants something more from you um then he probably doesn't like you like you he probably doesn't want you he probably is just using you because he's bored or he wants sex or he just wants companionship or he wants someone to spill his emotions to but he doesn't want to get tied down to you because I don't know, he just wants to feel free, maybe he wants to date multiple people, maybe he just, you know, I don't know, people, some people just aren't like relationship material. It's not about you, it's about them. They have their own little commitment issues or problems or whatever the fuck that they need to fix themselves or work on themselves, so you do you, you shouldn't want to be with someone who doesn't like want you like that anyway, just shy away, be their friend or not, just don't try to pursue them. Fifth sign is that he or she will only hit you up at night. You know, you know it's that time. They only hit you up about sex. Any conversation that they talk about with you is about sex, or if you talk about something else, they'll try to like maneuver the conversation into something sexual. They never ask you how your day is going, how you're feeling, or anything like that. They just hit you up because they want the sex. Unless 
you know, you want that too, unless you just want the sex and you don't really care for your relationship either. By all means, go ahead and do that. I'm just saying that never really works out because someone always gets hurt. Someone usually always gets more feelings than the other person. Just know what you're getting into and be careful. Another sign is that they'll literally only make plans to hang out with you if they don't have anything to do. Basically, you're just a convenience to him. You're kind of just like last priority. You're just there if their plans fall through. And when you guys do hang out, it's like only going to his house are him only coming over so you guys can watch Netflix and then you know it leads to something else and that's exactly what they want okay that's exactly what they want so don't do it don't go to their house don't let them come over if they want to freaking hang out with you they should ask you on a date or they should ask you to hang out outside of the house you know what I mean don't go anywhere where you guys can have sex because they, they tricky they know they plan ahead they plan these things ahead. Legit, they will not hang out with you if it's somewhere where they cannot have sex. Another sign that he's just like not that into you or he doesn't see you as like girlfriend material or wifey material or anything, he will not introduce you to his friends or family. Or if he has, he won't let you hang out with them. If that makes sense. They won't invite you to any family events, to any friend events. They'll hang out with their friends separately and with you separately. It's like never together. Doesn't matter if his homeboys or her homegirls bring their boyfriends and girlfriends. He or she will not bring you if she's just not that into you. If you wanted to be with someone, then you would just straight up want to show them off to everyone. And don't fall for that. It's not that I don't trust you. It's that I don't trust my friends because some of my friends hooked up with my friend's girlfriends or my friend's boyfriends. If those were his friends, he would trust them and they should trust him. And if he trusted you, then he wouldn't have a problem bringing you around his friends or family. Another sign is that this person will literally play fucking games with you. When they try to take long to text you back, oh, I'm gonna take long so that they can like chase me and like think about me no if you like someone just fucking text them back right away if your phone's right in front of your fucking face which i know it probably is since you know it's 2018 everybody has their phone in their hands at all times of the day so yeah if you like someone just fucking text them just fucking call them like don't be being around the bush don't be trying to play no games don't try to be making people jealous no it's not that 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 makes me not like trust you as fast if you're trying to like be all sneaky and like trying to pretend like you have hella bitches in your phone and shit like that when you really don't like <laughs> how is that attractive sir but um yeah those are all the signs that i could think of right now those have literally all happened to me not just by one person which is really sad maybe there's something wrong with me like i need to focus on myself i need to to realize my self-worth and stop going for these asshole dudes who don't make me a priority or don't trust me or don't want me around their friends or family. I'm tired of being a secret. Just fucking tired of it. Like I want to meet your friends. I want to meet your family. I want to have all our friends hang out together because if we're all not compatible, that's a problem right there. Like I want all of us, all of our friends to be able to hang out with each other. If I go out, sometimes I want you there. Other times I don't and that's fine. Sometimes you don't want me there. That's that's fine but it can't always be you and me or you and your friends that's not no I need to be able to hang out with your friends I need to get to know your friends because if I'm gonna be in your life like if you see me as someone who's gonna be in your life for a long time I need to be able to interact with the people who are in your life it helps me understand you better as a person and same with your family you know what I mean like everyone in your life brings out a little bit of something different out of you you kind of change your personality slightly based on who you're hanging out with because everyone has different energies and different vibes and shit like that anyway if you have any more signs that someone's not into you leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you think about any of these signs or if you experienced any of these signs because girl i know i have those are basically all the signs that i could think of as of right now give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you thought it was helpful subscribe to my channel if you're not already hit your post notification button and yeah, stay kicked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.